What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new 2024 MDT Arena Tour. All right, man, so here we are in the brand new MDT Arena, and I wanted to take you guys through the entire process. So we're going to discuss everything about this arena in great detail. That way, if you guys want to build it yourselves, or maybe you guys just want to get some inspiration for your own arena or whatever the hell the case is, man. Today, we're going to be detailing the entire arena and breaking down everything we got here, man, from just the parts that we use, the ring that I use, where I got everything. We're going to discuss it here in this video, man. So I hope you guys are excited. Let's buckle the hell up and dive into the official arena tour. So I guess what we can do is start off with our stage and then we'll just work our whole entire way around and just cover every single detail and inch of our set arena. Now, if, I guess we can just start off with the crowd essentially because I guess we can work like outside in and then to the stage and whatnot. But the background right here is actually two of the brand new Extreme Sets backgrounds. I think it's the 3.0 or the 3.5. I want to say it's the 3.5 version, but you can go over to extremesets.com and I don't think it works on any clearance items, but if you use code MDT, you can get like 15% off or something like that. So you can do that, but uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. But you do have the Extreme Sets background right here. I like this version. You know, I really liked my custom one that Wrestlistic made me. However, my uh, it kind of got damaged in the move. And I would really, I wish this was custom, right? I wish it had MDT Live and like all this pink in it and all this different stuff. You know, have a pink version for MDT Live. Have a blue version for Vindication and whatnot. But it's simply, it's not realistic right now at this juncture. So I decided, decided to scrap it for now. We will come back to it later. But that's the reason why it kind of got damaged and it did it just didn't it didn't fill it up and I really wanted to uh, just add a little bit more depth and whatnot so that is the background that's also what these little crowd things are so you guys will notice there's like a crowd box here there's a crowd box over there these little like barricades or whatnot they have these fake fans in there whatever there's a long one there a short one over there and I actually have two extra long ones and they are under here but they do not fit so we do have two extra long ones right there I guess maybe one day we'll use them but for now we are not using that. The stage went off for some reason, but I did mix in my own crowd members right there. That way, you know, we could, we you just, I, I don't know. I don't like the paper. It kind of create, you can't really see them when you're standing back or you're like getting shots and whatnot, but I really just wanted to add depth to the arena. So that is the reason those, you know, I put those paper people in there. So, you know, we got, you know, we got some paper people represented in here. But from the crowd background and the arena fans or what have you, the little boxes, we did fill up our arena with all of these figures. Now, I have accumulated these basic figures. Some of these were sent in by fans or people that just wanted to donate to the channel. Some of these are random figures. I, I even have a couple UFC figures in here, some random basics, some different women's figures, just different stuff going on, man. But we do have a ton of those. I don't even know how many this is, but... I just accumulated them over the years, and then I've tried to make my own custom crowd members, and I also have a whole box down here dedicated to crowd members. So down here, um, this is all basics that I've used parts of over the years. And then down here, we even have a box full of all basics that are pretty much basic figures without their head sculpts, and then all I have to do is add a random head sculpt and then throw it in the crowd with a t-shirt. And I tried to mix and match bodies and heads. That way it doesn't look like, oh, there's... You know, there's Roman Reigns chilling in the crowd, or there's Kane chilling in the crowd. Now, I'm not saying if you pay attention, you might not notice some of those guys, but I tried to mix and match heads and whatnot so that you wouldn't be able to stand out. And if a talent is featured on WWE television, I try to not use them in the front row. Like if John Cena is doing his entrance or something like that, and then right there where Curtis Axel is, there's a fan that looks just like John Cena, it would annoy me, so... There's plenty of John Cena's in the crowd, but they they don't stand out. You're not going to get a real still image of John Cena beside John Cena. You get what I'm saying. So for our patron members, they actually get front row tickets right here. So we have a bunch of patron members right here that have their own custom figure up front in the front row. And then we have some people with some dedicated signs. So if you see some random signs that don't really make sense or you don't get the references, they're probably patron crowd signs. So, you know, there's some Patreon crowd signs throughout here, but we just have them littered throughout the arena. You guys know that I like the classics, man. I want different crowd signs and stuff like that. Uh, this one did knock over. Got to fix that right there. So we will fix that. Need to adjust that a little bit. There we go. But we have random crowd signs throughout, you know, and I think it really adds to the depth of the arena and whatnot. So 
And all that is is just construction paper with tape over it to make them a bit thicker so you'll be able to, you know, they'll be able to hold the figure or hold the, the crowd sign up there. But yeah, man, when you get these nice low-level shots, just look at the depth right here, man. I mean, look at, it really completes the illusion, I think, when you get down like this. Come down here, got the aisle way. So that's my crowd. That is my full crowd right there for the most part. I don't think I'm missing any details there. When you get into the stage, this is obviously the Mattel Crowdfunder New Gen Arena. This is not going to stay. This is just kind of a placeholder. I wanted to build my own custom stage, but I kept running into issues with the ramp that I was using. And I don't know if there's anybody watching this video. If anybody out there watching this video can build me a nice platform. Like, I have the platform. I use these, like, custom drawers right here. I, brought, I bought three of these. These are from Walmart, these, like, steel drawers. I bought three of those to make a platform across the top. And I was going to have this... I was going to have this as the entrance way and it sit on top of this and have it all the way across. So then it would be kind of like a classic stage from WWE. And then you would have these on the corners and that going across like a nice Titan Tron and all this stuff. But I, I cannot figure out how to make a ramp where it's easy for the figures to stand on and they can come down the ramp. So this is kind of my way around that. And a huge shout out to Elite Wrestling Figs. This is a gutter guard or a gutter drain from Home Depot. And I, I sprayed it with like some chrome silver spray paint. And I also sprayed these little Target racks. These are from Target. This rack over here and then that. These are just some random wood planks that I also spray painted all the same color just so it blend in. I think those were white in the room tour if I'm not mistaken. And then this was white. But now it's all like a uniform silver color that I think looks pretty good. But then I just added some scaffolding here. I think this is from like an old play set or something. Maybe the Money in the Bank Jack set. I also added those here to these pillars here. This is two feet. This shelf is two feet from the table, the custom table that's here. This is a two-foot pole here that is like a support beam, I guess you could say. And then I threw that scaffolding over there because it just really, I don't know, it kind of adds to the look of the arena, I think. So I thought it was cool. And maybe a superstar could cl climb on it or something like that. And then I just added some decor here. You have like an elimination chamber piece here. Nothing crazy. It kind of looks kind of thrown together. I really wish that I could get it more uniform. But if somebody out there can build me a ramp, I could redo this entire thing and make it look how I want, but I couldn't figure out the ramp ordeal. Every ramp I get is too its too flimsy, or the figures fall flat on their face, or all those different things, man. So if somebody wants to help me out with a ramp, man, I would greatly appreciate it, or I, I'll purchase it. I just need to, I need to find a way to have a ramp. So I'd really like a nice platform stage that comes down, but this is getting the job done for now. I get the Elite Champion Kenny Omega there. And then I try to make it like they're like reaching out, trying to touch him and whatnot. So I think that really adds to the depth of it as well. I guess the next thing that we can talk about is the ring and the like actual arena itself here. This is the, I believe it's what, the ringside exclusive barricade playset. And there may be pieces missing, so I just had to use the pieces that I could really use. I had to dust them off from the old arena. It was very dusty and whatnot. But uh, it wraps all the way around here. That is the official barricade playset from ringside collectibles just kind of encased it right there i know that's not how it would usually look but i don't know it gets the job done i guess then i threw down some black poster board or some really charcoal gray poster board from hobby lobby this is always the floor that i've always used but i did have to buy brand new ones it had the old one had markings and blood and all kinds of ish on it so i did replace this with the some new poster boards these are not thick at all. They, you know, this is like just regular poster board that sits over this. And I think it took eight or nine to fill up this entire floor or table, I should say. And so they do overlap. But when they're, you know, when the superstars are out here and stuff like that, you're not even going to notice it. So it's not a big deal to me. But that is the floor. This ring is the Jax real scale ring, but it's the replica that is sold on Wrestling Superstore. So Wrestling Superstore is where I get this ring. That's my favorite ring. I think it's the most accurate. I think the scale is the best. Let's go ahead and get the, the champion in here. I just like the scaling, man. It has really nice scaling. I think that it's perfect representation. I think the Elite Scale rings and these other rings you get into, when you get these other, the AEW ring's too big, the New Gen Arena ring is too big, the, the Attitude Era War, Raw's War ring is too big in my opinion, so I use this ring. This is my favorite ring, and it doesn't have the most sturdy turnbuckle posts and whatnot, and you can't do the spot where, you know, you remove this and you can see the steel beam. That doesn't bother me, and you can't really, I mean, it's it's, it's, quite, it's quite difficult to pose figures in this area at all on the turnbuckle but this is my favorite ring this is the best ring in my personal opinion it's all up to personal preference and it also just doesn't take as take up as much space man if you were to use 
the new gen arena one it would probably come out another inch or so and so i just think that this scales the best this looks and feels the most authentic to wrestling for me so that is the one that i use there but that is the wrestling superstore ring and you can also customize it it has white turnbuckle posts we even have some other ones over here this drawer over here is dedicated to steel steps and ropes and stuff and I think it even has the blue turnbuckle posts in here. So yeah, you got the blue turnbuckle posts for vindication. And I do believe these ropes right here are ringside exclusive pink ropes from way back in the day. They used to have ringside exclusive ropes, steps, all kinds of stuff. You guys know they do the TLC play sets. The TLC play sets they used to do in the pink colorways and yellow and stuff. They used to sell ring ropes just like this. And I ordered these because I knew I wanted pink ropes for the MDT live show. And I think it looks really, really clean. And I don't even know if you can buy these anymore. I don't think they sell the ringside exclusive ropes anymore. But also, if, you, if they don't, you can actually go onto eBay and order some, I think, is it called a rip cord or something like that? It's like basically stretchy cord. And you got to get like the one millimeter thick, I think it is. And then all you have to do is cut it to size and then tie off one end, hide the tight end right here, and you can make your own custom ropes. It's not that hard to do. That's how I've done custom ropes for pay-per-views when the ringside collectibles ones were unavailable. But yeah, there's the ring right there, man. I just, this is the best ring scale-wise for me personally, but I don't know, what, what the hell do I know, Brad? This right here, I always get questions on. It's who makes my ring skirts. I've had all kinds of different ring skirts between the different pay-per-views and MDT Live and Vindication. The guy that always makes mine, his name is Nate. And I believe his Twitter is Custom Toy Rings or something like that, but he has a Google site. It's a Google site. And so if you look up ring skirts or custom ring skirts for figures or something like that, I guess it's just a Google website. It's a regular site on Google. And you go on there and you can actually custom fit the one you want, send him the graphics. And I think he, he goes back and forth with you on email. And you can pay right there on the website. So he's always been super helpful for me, and he's always helped me out. So if you guys want a custom ring skirt, I think he's made a ton of them, man. I mean, he's been in business for a while, and he's really trusted source. I, I love the ring skirts. The quality of these have been fantastic. These are like seven or eight years old, and look at them. They still look pretty pretty much brand new. I mean, for the hell that I put these through and everything like that, they look really damn good, man. So that is where I get my ring skirts from. I'll try to link his Twitter and his website down in the description below as well. From there, again, we covered the steel steps. The steel steps should come with the ring when you order it. I believe, I'm pretty sure those are the same black steps. You can pick black, silver, blue. I think they have a bunch of different options you can choose from. And then down here, we do have my custom MDT Live announce table. Used to have two different ones, but right now we're rocking it with one. We got our swivel chairs in there. That is from some WWE Mattel play set. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it's got the monitors on there. And this is the ringside exclusive announcer's desk. And it does come with the entire announce desk there and everything. I think it also comes with headsets as well, but our big AF heads don't fit the headsets, so we don't rock the headsets at least not at this juncture. I did take the custom graphics that were made a long time ago, went to Curb Stomp City custom decals, and then talked back and forth with him. Got some custom fitted announce table decals to stick on there. We do have Vindication and MDT Live ones, so you know, you got the same logo across the top there. So I, I just wanted everything to be custom made, man. I wanted it to be one of one and everything, but over here we do have the Timekeepers area, have like a mini barricade there and there. Black table, you have the ring bell and then an MDT Live chair. Again, just a regular black chair from Ringside Collectibles slapped a custom decal on there from Curb Stomp City. And again, when I talk about figures I used to have and then I sold back, I used all of the money that I sold some of my collection from and, and, and got the ring made and got the ring skirt made and got the ropes and got some of the parts for the ring, the barricade. I got, I got the custom decals made, the announce tables, all this different stuff. So that's what kind of kickstarted the pick fed was selling off a majority of that, of those Legends figures and stuff that are missing from reviews nowadays. But I, I, it, this is what it cost, man. It, I had to sacrifice them for the greater good. But if you were wondering how this is like set up, so this is not just, I didn't just set this up and then throw it back there. And this custom background is actually an inch or two lifted off the table. And so I did have to screw in these braces right here and then tape them to support here. So I did screw these little stilts or braces in and duct tape them to the background so that they would be lifted up and then i also had to you know uh, keep that sealed up against the wall and i had to build braces on either side of the arena so that that would always be you know pushed up against the wall that way i wouldn't lose any of that depth with the crowd and whatnot so that is also what i did here but there are future plans for the balcony there are future plans for the balcony but for now that is where we're keeping the 
Supreme Collection Men on Card set. So that is, you know, if you watch the room tour, you know exactly what that's about. If not, you can go check out the room tour for the rest of the details, man. But that is pretty much the MDT Arena for 2024. Nice little live shot right there of everything. Pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with it. I think everything has come together now that the crowd signs are up. We have all of our crowd members in there. Everything going on. I think it is about time that we start to film very soon. So we'll get that figured out as well, man. But that's pretty much going to wrap up the video. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. And shout out to the patron members that are live in the crowd, man. Appreciate those guys coming out. You can front row seats for their patronage. But that is going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below on the arena. What do you think of it? Let me know all your thoughts, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.